In this program, we're going to look at the naming of variables or identifiers inside of a program. And it may seem obvious what we're trying to label, but there are really three major places where identifiers can be named. The first place is right here, and variable one, variable two are all variables inside of the program, and they're going to follow the rules of Java for naming variables. Two other places that are going to have to also follow the rules is when you name the class and when you name a method, like the main method. All three of these follow certain rules, and if they're not followed, they may cause an error. Variables can be named pretty much anything using a keyboard, but there are some rules that must be followed. The first error-causing rule is variables may not begin with a digit. They have to be called what is alphanumeric. Start with an alpha character, and then they can have as many digits inside as you please. So I have some examples here. Variable 101 does not begin with a variable. It does have a number at the end, which is perfectly OK. Code, the O and the E are substituted for a 0 and 3, which is also OK. And then we have Word, which is just a set of characters without any numbers inside of it, which is completely legitimate. On here, we have 101 variable. That's bad because it starts with a number, 101 eggs, the three right here is invalid, and then you can't start or have a variable that is solely digits. You can do it with alpha characters, but not with digits. The second rule is variables may not contain punctuation characters. And if you look at the examples at the bottom, you'll see that this hello has a question mark at the end. This variable right here has a period in between it, and this variable has a forward slash in it. All of these are illegal and would not generate legitimate variables in Java and cause an error. On this side, we have working examples like hello, and one exception to the punctuation rule is the underscore character, so we can say file underscore exe. And the last exception is the dollar sign. Now the dollar sign is usually used in Java if the computer is going to give variable names or it's going to give data so there isn't any confusion. If you see a dollar sign, it means the computer is giving it to you. So it's frowned upon for users to use the dollar sign themselves in Java. The next example is Java variables cannot contain spaces. So we have light year, fluid ounce, and my next num. All of these contain a space inside of them, and all of them would be illegal. Instead of saying light year with a space, you could say light year and capitalize the Y. Also, if you want to separate fluid ounce, you could add this underscore character here to make it legitimate. And my next num, I just capitalized each n. And you could have this all lowercase. This is just a good way to capitalize each word to separate them since spaces are not allowed. The fourth rule is variables cannot be reserved words. And as you familiarize yourself with Java, you'll find out that there are several words inside of Java that are specific to the language. It's not a huge set of words, but it is enough to be wary of them. So you cannot name a variable void or class or this because all of these are words inside of Java that are used specifically for coding in Java. And if you try to name them this way, the computer will not allow you to do this. On the other hand, if you did capital V void, which is certainly different from void, that would work. If you said class E instead of class, or this one instead of this, all of these would work. You just really have to stay away from reserved words. And last, variables are case sensitive. And we kind of pointed this one out in the last rule. If you have the word hello and you try to call it later in the program and use capital H, capital E, capital L, capital L, capital O, this is not the same variable as this lowercase hello. Same thing with variable, this lowercase v is not the same as this uppercase v, and last spelled this way is not the same as last spelled this way. If you're going to lowercase it here, throughout the program, you're going to have to lowercase it. If you're going to have any capitals, they have to match up later on in the program. Java is very picky about this and will not let you go forward if your variables do not match exactly in terms of case. 
Now what I've done here in this slide is given you some examples of identifiers. Go ahead and pause the video for a second and try to see if you can figure out which ones are legitimate and which ones are not. Now hopefully you've gone through and decided which ones are valid, which ones are not. And in green, I have highlighted the ones that are okay. And in red, I have shown the ones that are not. And let's quickly look at why some are valid and why some are not. Hello is completely valid. Void is not valid because it's a reserved word. R2D2 is fine because it's not beginning with a number. And having numbers inside of the variable itself is fine. Tomorrow is invalid because the two is a number and variables cannot start with numbers. No is invalid because it has this exclamation point here. My var is invalid because it has a space in between it. Public is a keyword and cannot be used, so therefore it's an invalid. Personal is fine. 3D is invalid because it starts with a three. Good idea. Nice try with an underscore is valid. Void is valid. Now be careful about this. This is frowned upon to use a reserved word just with an uppercase inside of it. I wouldn't suggest doing it, but it certainly is valid. 256 because there has to be some kind of alpha character in here and there's not and it begins with a number so that certainly wouldn't count as a variable space fun has a space and so it couldn't be valid y has a question mark and could not be valid the period in get would make this invalid all of these special characters would be valid the enye or the umlaut over the u and dollar sign money would be fine. But remember, this is usually not used by users, but rather the computer generating data for you. So it, it's not looked upon well if you do this yourself. So if you follow these five simple rules for naming your variables, you will be safe when creating them and not generate an error. Java is very sensitive and will not let you go forward unless you follow these five rules.